So this is just a very uh, quick video on how to do trigonometry on your smartphone calculator. I have an iPhone, but I'm assuming it's similar on other smartphone uh, calculators. And it's likely very similar on other regular calculators that um, are not like uh, the Casio where you just type it in directly. Um, so this hopefully will be helpful. So here I have it in um, scientific calculator mode and over or down here in the lower uh, left hand corner, it says RAD. So this means radians and you don't want radians. Okay, so right now if I touch this, it changes everything into radians. See how it says RAD now up there? We don't want that. See how it says DEG down here? This is what we want. We want it in degrees. That's the default mode. So just make sure that it's in degrees. And it's kind of counterintuitive that it says RAD when it's in degrees, but it is. So if we were going to be figuring out sine 20, um, we wouldn't press the sign button first. So we'd actually enter the number 20 and then press the sign button and then it would give us our answer. So sine of 20, if we round to four decimal places, is 0 0.3420. Okay, so now we've done sine 20. Let's do what we would need to do if we were looking for an angle. So if we had x is equal to tan inverse and then bracket 5.9 divided by 7.4, close bracket. So on the smartphone calculator, and I shouldn't say for all, but definitely for the one on the iPhone, um, you can't just type it in like this. So we kind of have to go backwards. So what we have to do, I'm gonna just uh, clear this first. So what we have to do is we have to do 5.9 divided by 7.4 now I'm gonna hit the equals button because I actually wanna do this calculation first because if I then went to tan negative one, it would probably only do it on that 7.4. So hit equals, okay, we got this big uh, repeating decimal, that's okay. Now we wanna do second and see how now we have tan to the negative one and that's what we want, inverse tan. So now we touch that, there we go. So it gives us 38.565 and so on. And we're going to round this to a whole number. So this is going to give us approximately 39 and this would be degrees. So we'll put a degree sign right there. 